Yeah, and you know what? The um, the title and whatnot, I thought I got rid of because there's no room for it. But the uh, go into your video video.css here, and right at the very bottom, this is where the button is, the slider read more button. And you see there's a position left, top 200. You can start fiddling around with that number there. Uh, until it's positioned somewhere lower on the page so you know go to go to like 400 or something like that or 500 and start playing around with that number until you you get it to work but let me just see if I've turned off the um, display none yeah and display none yeah so the caption itself and it shouldn't be showing up like we shouldn't have a title and whatnot and the other thing was um, because of the size of it right in your actual page itself right I would suggest getting rid of the title and the paragraph right here, right? And this is the slider read more button. If you don't want that continue button to show up, you can just actually yank that right out as well. Um, so you can get rid of the, the heading, the paragraph, and the button. And uh, probably a good idea um, if you want. Because the continue button, what it was designed to do is just link to another page in your site that's related to that particular video. So if that's what you want it to do, then great. If not, just I'd say just get rid of it because it's not going to advance the... Uh, slide to the next one, all it's going to do is just take you to a page. It's just some HTML I've thrown in there to, you know, give the, the user. So if you have a, uh, a video on a, a certain event or a certain product, for example, then you can actually link it to that product page. So that was the idea behind that.